What is up guys, today we're going to be looking at how to set up a 3D digital art piece from this plain t-shirt design. This graphic is done by Elucid Studios, which is a South African brand shout out. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set this up with two simple tools. Um, to get the file, it is available on my Gumroad, um, which will give you everything. Uh, and then you can just follow along on this tutorial to see how to set it up yourself. So the first thing we're going to need is Blender. It's a free open source software uh, for 3D renders. It works on Linux, Windows and Mac. Um, and then we're also going to need Adobe Photoshop, which I'm assuming you have because most designers do. Um, from there, we're going to open up the resources folder, which you can get on Gumroad. Um, we're going to click on the plain t-shirt Blender file. This is then going to open up Blender and you should see something similar to this. Um, just a basic plain T and that's kind of going to be the base. Uh, you can see it has a little bit of walking movements um, for animation and this is what we're going to work with. You can turn on the viewport shading area just to get a better render. From here we're going to open up Photoshop. You can go into our resources folder and click on the PSD file which will open up Photoshop for you. Um, you're going to see a basic layout of the pattern showing your left and right, back and front. Um, we can then start applying our design that we want. So I'm just gonna put Dan in the front, just to show you how it works. And then put Dan also on the sleeve. Uh, scale it down a bit and then position it correctly. If you wanna take it even further, we can add a pattern to this. Um, so I'm just gonna drag in this watercolor that I made up with Mid Journey, scale it up so it fits over everything. Take the layer and just drag it and put it above layer one, creating a clipping mask. Once you save this, we can go back into Blender and open up the base color node. We can then link the plain t-shirt design and click open image. You'll then see it will automatically update. If you're not happy with how that looks, we can always go back, change it, make it clean, reposition some stuff and then click save. Go back into Blender, disconnect, open up the plain t-shirt design and there we have it. If you'd like to change the background color, we can go into our materials panel and just change the color to whatever fits our brand. For exporting settings, we can go into the output tab and here we can select the folder that we want to export the animation to. We can then click render image, which will do just one image for us of the frame, or we can take it even further and do render animation. For the render image, you'll have to click on image and save, but for animation will automatically save into the folder. To take it even further, we can change the aspect ratio by the resolution tab, as well as the max sample rate. This will make the render even higher quality, but also take longer to render out. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, comment and sub if you're new here, and don't forget to turn the notification bell on. I'll be posting once a week with new updates um, as I learn more and more in the 3D space. Uh, if you guys do want help or have any questions, join the Discord. It's in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.